What do you need of my hair? What do you need of it now? It's been plucked from your head. You mentioned you got into a bit of a row with him earlier. No. I was shocked too. And given your shy, delicate sensibilities. I'm the worst person in the world. Really, in the whole world. You sent me a message. Something about, um... Help! Help! We're dying. Can you save us? Are you stealing our eggs? No. Not a lot. Really? Hop on. You want me to get on the back of that bike? That's what hop on means. If you don't, I will. Science fair. I'm helping the kids with their project before school. I'm sure if you're five minutes late, they'll live. We're making a volcano. Come here to see him. So you're a stalker? No, not really. Maybe a little bit. I mean, it's not like I'm following him. Hey! Where'd you get that? Your mom. Don't eat that! Okay. Our tax dollars hard at work, I see. I just know that he spends his mornings with Catherine, gets coffee, then drives to the animal shelter to start work at 7.30, and then he's home around 5. And is that all? Thursdays, they pick up Chinese for dinner. Crazy son of a bitch. So, he's his normal self. He's fine. He's happy? Yes. No! Where, where are you taking me? Let's call it Neuro. My room? Well, it sounds a lot nicer than Dungeon. I'll release you when you return the leather pouch you stole with my jewels. Not the jewelry type. Indeed, I noticed. What is that supposed to mean? Are you insulting me? Do you know where he is? Lady, I haven't seen him since I dropped him in your house, and a pretty good alibi. Have a nice trip back to Boston.